Hi everyone, I'm Swati from India Hikes. Today we're talking about a very important topic that you cannot ignore, especially if you're stepping into high altitudes. You could be going on a Himalayan trek, you could be going anywhere in the world into high altitude, or you could be going to Badrinath, Kedarnath, your Char Dham Yatras. You need to know about this important information about AMS. And to do that, I have with me Dr. Lakshmi Selva Kumaran. She is the head of the learning and development team at India Hikes. So Lakshmi, I often hear this particular myth and I think if we are given a penny for the number of times we'd heard it, we'd be millionaires by now and that is, I've been in high altitude before, nothing has happened to me and I'm not going to get AMS again because of that. So can you tell us, is this a myth or is this true? It's definitely a myth. Um, so just to give a little bit of an understanding, every time you go to the mountains, especially when you cross somewhere above 8,000 feet, you are exposing yourself to an environment where you don't get much oxygen per breath. So your body is trying to cope up with that as and when you move up the altitude. So your body does a lot of, uh, in a lot of ways, it tries to cope with itself. Uh, it uh, increases your heart rate, it increases uh, the number of RBCs that you have in your own body to carry the oxygen. So a lot of little changes happens within the body to basically get used to that atmosphere and that's what we call acclimatization. But the effect of acclimatization, the, the period it lasts as soon as you come back to a lower altitude is maximum of 14 days. So beyond 14 days, whatever you've gained uh, by going to a high altitude, that effect disappears. So the very next time you're going to a high altitude again, your body is going to treat it as if it's exposing itself to a low oxygen environment in a new way. So every time you go up, uh, you do need to acclimatize as long as the periods of time interval is beyond 14 days. So the thought that because last time I did not get altitude illness, I'm not going to get it back again, uh, is not necessarily true. Uh, the actual physiology of why altitude illness happens is very well known, but what are the factors that can bring it about is not very well known. So a variable amount of factors can still get you an AMS and you need to be on watch for it. So I hope you heard that right. If you have not been in high altitude for the past 14 days, your previous experience from several years ago doesn't count. So treat it as a brand new experience at high altitude. This was a small part of a longer video we have covering the five most common myths about acute mountain sickness. If you are heading into high altitude, this video is a must watch so that you take care of yourself and stay away from acute mountain sickness. So head over there and watch the video right away.